class. Um, we're rounding up this semester, which is so crazy. Um, so before I get started talking about the process of printing, I have a funny story for y'all. Um, a couple weeks ago, my fiance and I printed 600 wedding invitations. I know it's a lot. I'm from Georgia. He's from Idaho. We've got Utah friends and Texas friends where we both served our mission. We served in the same mission. So we are having three receptions and there's just a lot going on. So long story short, um, as we're putting together 300 of the invitations in Boise last week, um, we were there on vacation all week, and um, Marshall had left 300 envelopes sitting on his apartment couch. And so we could only send out half the invitations while we were in Boise. And um, while we were there, we realized we forgot to write registered at Target and Amazon on invitations. And we're like, oh, okay, well... We just did a quick fix and went to Staples and put little inserts in and it was good to go. So I got home and showed the invitation to my mom, which she had already seen the, the final product. And she goes, where's the date? So we left the date and registered at Target and Amazon off of our wedding invitations. So we had to reprint all 600 and resend the 300 we previously sent, and the other 300 that we hadn't sent. So, um, I have not had very good luck with printing lately. Um, today I was in the FedEx office for an hour, actually over an hour. Um, turns out that their printer, what, uh, it was off a little bit. So, everything was lined up perfectly for us on, on the computer screen. Um, but when we went to print... Um, there was a shift in the printer, so trial and error, trial and error, trying to get everything shifted correctly. Um, so we printed three or four times, I don't know, on 32 weight paper, um, uh, just for practice. And then I ended up printing it on 60, uh, 60 pound, um, so that it's almost like a cardstock. Um, so this was the first one on cardstock I printed, and... It was a good thing I had so many trial and errors because I realized how not legible these things were. Um, the colors are actually showing up darker on the on my phone um, just because the lighting in my room is not super great down here. Like it is above my head, but not right. I don't know. So, anyway... Um, this is the first one we printed. I ended up printing two of the final on cardstock because I knew I'd probably mess it up. Um, so I print out this one and I'm here, sitting here thinking, okay, before I fold it, it's probably going to feather. You know how that paper does. Um, so I decided to take my scissors and cut it on the, on the, the edge of the brochure um, where it was going to fold. And then it sliced it. You can see the white along there, um, and so that looked terrible, um, and it was a little bit off. You can kind of see right there. It was a little bit off, so I decided to do my second one better, and that time I didn't just push so hard on the scissors to make a cut. I just kind of shaved away paper along the edge, or I'm sorry, along the fold, so that when I folded it, it'd be really, really thin to fold and wouldn't feather. Um, and it aligned up perfectly. I ended up making the back a tad bit lighter than the front, um, but the fold was really nice, hardly a feather, it just was really awesome. So, um, I ended up taking Sister Rodriguez's advice, and I made the logo a little more prominent. I put it, um, on the, I lit up my computer screen so you can see it a little better. Um, I put the logo, or sorry, the company name on the front so that, um, the logo was prominent, but you could actually tell this was the logo because just the front of the brochure was the logo. Um also right here on the back. Um, the picture's printed out super nice and clear. You can hardly tell on my phone. Um, the inside, I took someone's advice. I can't, um, 
think his name's Nindagas. I can't, I can't remember, but, um, I took his advice, and I ended up silhouetting in here and wrapped some text, um, and added these little things at the top, kind of like I did on the back, right there, um, and I totally should have added another one right there, and I didn't think of that until just now, um, but I guess I'll go back and print again, um, so, I also changed the inside, this originally had the company name, and now it says hunting season, um, and there are dots to connect so they're not just floating words, um, it turned out really great, I'm pretty sure that's everything, I moved some stuff over so the, the, mar our, um, the edges weren't crowded, um, and I think that's everything I was supposed to tell y'all, but I've had a really awesome time this semester looking at y'all's work and getting some awesome ideas from y'all, and I've loved all the critiques. Thank you for helping me grow. Um, best of luck with all of y'all, and hopefully we'll have some more classes together.